I want to explain the real meaning of procrastination. A lot of people, myself included at one point, think of themselves as chronic or constant procrastinators. And they read books that basically tell them to get out and do it and motivate themselves with positive thinking and rewards and using all kinds of schedules to get themselves to do things. The truth is, this is all very much beside the point. Even chronic procrastinators do not procrastinate on certain things. On which things? On the things that they actually want to do. So chronic procrastination is actually a sign of a mismatch between what you think that you actually want to do and what you actually do want to do. So how do you heal this divide? It's not by forcing yourself tyrannically to conform to what you think you should want to do. It is to actually pay attention to what you really want to do. Because the war of trying to force yourself to do what you should want to do is never won. Instead, the wise path is to get more in touch with what you actually want to do. And when you start listening to yourself and figuring out what you actually want to do, you will find procrastination decreases. Now, this might mean that you're not doing what you thought you should want to do. But the reality is that wasn't going to happen anyway. Instead, you're becoming increasingly honest with yourself, freeing up psychic space and energy to do the things that you actually will do, the productive things that you actually want to do. And those can only arise as you start being honest with yourself. Now, how do you go about being honest with yourself? Well, first of all, one thing which I recommend to all seekers, spiritual seekers, but also people who are just struggling with things like constant procrastination, is therapy. And not just any therapy, but what I call psychoanalytic psychotherapy. Actually, it's not just me calling it that. That is its name, psychoanalytic psychotherapy, or it's sort of big sibling, psychoanalysis. These are the original psychotherapies that are meant to aid in understanding ourselves and in uncovering various unconscious conflicts that often stem from childhood and add uh, result in our not knowing ourselves and result in issues like chronic procrastination. The other thing that we need to do, uh, whether or not we go into therapy, is to pay attention to our feelings. Um, not our thinking about our feelings, but our actual feelings and emotions. And to, when contemplating an action, think about how that makes us feel. And don't just think about it, but when we actually do something, pay attention to how we feel. There's a very important element of testing in the world various actions to see whether what we think we would feel is what we actually feel. And this is especially true if we are people like chronic procrastinators who are not in touch with our feelings, our real feelings about what we want. So um, another, another important um, element of that is what I call metaphorization, which is to take our emotions and to compare it to um, various uh, items in the real world. For example, um, you could think about your emotions and describe it as uh, a hot flash of fire or um, uh, as hard and angry as a, as a porcupine. Uh, you can do this in text or you can do this in drawing or music or whatever art form you find best. You don't have to be good at it. It's totally just for yourself, but it can be a way of paying attention and then sort of opening up your emotions for investigation in this way. Uh, if you try to describe your emotions accurately and originally in terms of metaphor, not necessarily in words, but in whatever medium you find best, you will find that uh, your emotions become far clearer to you over time. And so you take this process of describing your emotions, imagining scenarios, seeing how you feel, testing your actions out in the real world, seeing how you feel. And as this happens, the gap between what you believe about your own feelings and what you actually feel would decrease. The gap between what you think you want and what you actually want will decrease. And that, in the end, is the only true and sure cure to procrastination.